Hello, I am Diego Lisserasso, and today I want to make a small video about a, an aspect of uh, Constructu that it's a little bit more advanced than many of the videos that I've made before, but it's quite interesting and well lately I've been spending a lot of time doing things with that. Uh, just before I continue, just to remind you, this is my personal blog. Here also you have the link to my YouTube channel where you can find most of my videos and also you can find me on Twitter and well, just in general, contact me and let me know what you think of my videos. So basically today what I want to talk about is about uh, plugins uh, and uh, how, how they basically work in your computer. So I am just going to go oh, here we're going to to go for that for in a second so right now when you install construct 2 you have uh, several plugins that you can put to your sprites or to well different things so the first thing that I, that I added here was a sprite that's a plugin and then you could have uh, well other plugins here and behaviors that you can add so right now you have plugins and you may find that I have some that do not come with uh, Construct 2, right? So I added those, and I'm going to show you how uh, in a second. Also, you can add behaviors, and if I go here to my list of behaviors of this plugin, you're also going to find some that do not come with Construct 2. For example, this one, Circle. I was trying to create this one, my circle. It was not so successful, but well, we're going to see that. So the entire thing is that Construct2 comes already with certain plugins and behaviors that were created by the people from Sierra. And those are really amazing and give you the basic for uh, most of the games that you can create. But what happens when you are, uh, when you have a behavior that does not match what you have with the, uh, the plugins or behaviors that are included? So this is the part that we're going to check today. Some people, well, the people from Sierra, they, they made it really nicely. So you could extend what you have in Construct 2. And I'm going to show you in your computer, if you go to Program Files, so I have it here in C, Program Files, then you have Construct 2. There you look for exporters, HTML5, and then you have two folders that are really important, Behaviors and Plugins. So if you go here to plugins, for example, you're going to be able to find the one that goes for a sprite. And it, that's the same one that was used for this. And also, uh, for example, let's say that you wanted to create something about a button. Do you have it here? So all the sprite, all the plugins that you, you can find when you double click, you can find it here. And the same goes for behaviors can find them here. So for example, uh, physics, platform, and things like that. But also you can see that I have orders that do not come with Construct 2. So where did I find this? What are these? Basically this is just some member of the uh, Construct 2 community. You can of course go to Construct 2 and you can find those here in the forums. And for example, if you go on extending Construct 2, you can find that there is something like completed add ons. So, with that, you're going to find especially this one from uh, Kyatric, the C2 plugins and behavior list. You can find a huge selection of different things that you may find useful, and they are divided by behaviors and plugins. So, the entire trick is that Construct 2, underneath it all, is created with, uh, well, or it's using JavaScript, and that's the uh, an HTML5, and that's how it's going to be able to create, export games to different platforms, right? Because JavaScript is supported in most platforms, uh, regardless if they are a desktop or a tablet or a phone. So if you go and open one of these uh, behaviors, you're going to find several files, including several that are JavaScript, and you can see them here. And you can even see the code. So I'm going to open this one just with a notepad. That is quite easy. Uh, well, this one is not showing it so nicely, so let me use for the moment Visual Studio 2015. Um, and it's going to well take a little longer. 
this is a much bigger program, but we're going to be able to see the code that uh, it's used in these plugins. So, well, it does that. I want to show you that. Um, you can go here to the forum and you can look for anything that you may want. Oh, okay, one second. That, that you may want. And there are two, basically, two ways that uh, you can install that. In some cases, for example, I don't know. Mm, let me look for something. Uh, something by Rex. Uh, or Rohan. Oh. Okay, Rex Rainbow, this one. Move to. This is a good one. This is one user from uh, Constructu that has created so many things that is uh, almost ridiculous. He has a list of the things that he has created. And usually here in his page, you can uh, download the plugin. And that's going to open, in this case, I'm going to show you, uh, a zip file. I'm going to open in the folder. And you see here that uh, he has a folder where all the code it's there. So the only thing that you have to do basically is to unzip the file, copy this folder, and then you would go to the behaviors or the plugins folder and you can copy there. Others have already created also kind of like an installer. I will always forget the name of that. And you just have to drop it on Construct 2. And then a Construct is going to do the entire process for you. So now let me show you really quick. And this is the code that you found in this behavior that we had here in this uh, pathfinder and, and you see that it's javascript code so you could even modify it and you can do more things so there are several users that that well they are good at programming and, and, and they want to share their uh, uh, their creations so they create several plugins like Rex and uh, he makes a list out of this, and then you can download them and use them with your with your with your games. So I'm going to just show you this one. I'm going to make this a plugin, and I'm going to give a behavior that is not included with uh, Construct2, and this one is Circle. And then I'm going to make this one to run on Chrome. And let's see if it. I don't remember exactly what it's going to do if I have to set it up. Okay, there you go. So this is a similar to a bullet behavior, it's just that it's moving in a circle. And of course, you could go here and change the speed. So let's make it faster. The radius, we don't want it to, to be 50. And because it's asking by a radius X and Y, you can make it as an ellipse. So I'm going to make it look like that. So I'm going to make it also like 150. And with an angle of 15. So now let's try it. Oh, that was quite big. So let's let's center it closer to the actual center of that. You see? So this is a behavior that if you wanted to do on your own, you could create it, and you cannot even find it in in in, in and, uh, some of the tutorials with Construct2. But it's quite useful because then just with this behavior and these parameters, you already have a circular movement. And now let's suppose that I create another sprite. And I'm going to put it here. I'm going to make it look red or, well, this color, whatever. And I'm also going to make this one uh, have another behavior. Let's say, I don't know, something that I may have here. Mm, custom movement. No, that's a direction circle trying to find something well I could do this one this is a really cool one but uh, move to that one is also from Brex so let's do the move to I don't remember how to use that one mm. and then so let's say as yes, at the start of the layout I am going to make the second sprite and use the move to uh, move to XY and you can give a position so I don't know 2000 2000 well 200 2000 doesn't matter and let's see 
and it's moving. So in this case, it's doing something similar to what we could have with a bullet behavior, but uh, now you can give like in a specific position. So if I just say, I don't know, 400, 400, well, it is going to stop in that position. So that's something that you don't have with bullet. So you see every every single behavior can can do something different. So that's the um, that's the pros of having behaviors and plugins that are third party plugins. So what is the problem that you have here? Well, that those are not supported by uh, Construct2. So you can add them and you can add them on your games and you could publish them in any store that you want. But at the same time, if at some point Construct2 creates a different behavior that, uh, I don't know, clashes with that one, perhaps you're going to have a problem and it's going to be harder to figure out what is the problem. Also, the other thing is that, uh, well, one of the one of the users of Construct2 could create all this code, uh, but they, they also have their own personal projects. So what if uh, they, stop, they stop, like, upgrading it, they stop supporting it. So then you may be stuck with a behavior that is not useful after a few months or after a couple of years. And then a future version of Construct 2, uh, and well, the one that I'm creating right now that is Construct 3, uh, may not use what you have there. So since it's not an official plugin, since it's not an official uh, behavior, uh, you cannot really expect the company to uh, do much about it. So it's a little bit on your own responsibility. And, and several times it may happen that it, that it may crash. I have been able to use some of this and I have found like some errors. And of course, if you find the user, the creator on the internet, you can, and especially here in the forums, you see that a lot of people have answered to Rex uh, Rainbow here, and in and they are asking for new uh, options, for new features, and sometimes they give their own their own uh, feedback. But it's really up for Rex Rainbow to to respond or not. So you cannot really expect an official response from them. But well, I guess that uh, sometimes the the uh, trade-off pays in, well, I guess it's up to you to decide if that's something that you want to do. Okay, like you, like I said before, this one was a really simple video. Mm, I hope you liked it. Uh, in a couple of minutes I may try to figure out something else to, to create another video, but in the meantime, just check my blog, uh, check my YouTube channel, and, and let me know if you like it, and well, have a great day.